I consider it honest and factual and realistic. And that's something that historically I have not done on my videos when it comes to Tennessee. I've just been, I've been that guy that you know no matter what I'm going to talk shit about the other team. I'm going to predict us to win even if it's Alabama. But I mean realistically I think we all know that I don't truly believe Tennessee is going to beat Alabama. But you can bet your ass third Saturday in October I'm going to be saying it. Yeah, you're going to you're going to be with your balls all the way, man. Yeah. I mean, what's the point, you know, of, of having a favorite team if you don't feel yeah. like that? And, yeah, I, I've I've heard it all the well not I shouldn't say all this week but um, it's only been one day but uh, the past few days I've heard Irish fans say oh we're gonna get smacked around and I, now the the Georgia fans and haters of Notre Dame in general I expect that from but for your own fan base to not have any confidence or any and just be negative all the time then don't freaking watch the game then if that's how you feel let's get to that game yeah let's talk about it right now um, we got started a little bit but um. There's no, it's no secret. I don't deny it. This is going to be um, a tough, tough uh, matchup for us. Tough um, atmosphere, tough team, tough fans. It's already been announced that they're going to be uh, doing a blackout down in Georgia, which Bad. just adds. Which okay, the blackout, whatever. But it just, it doesn't. It just adds on to the, the hostile, the hostileness, if that's even a word, of the uh, the environment that we're playing in. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be tough even without without the blackout, but. Still, see, I don't like that. Uh, I get it, but Georgia's not black. You know, if I was Georgia, I would want Notre Dame to come to a red out. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, I would want I would want Notre Dame to absolutely. What What am I saying? There was a red out a couple of years ago in South Bend. Yeah. Uh, how many we times? We won't talk about that. And I'm sorry. Well, no, it's all right. It's fine to talk about it because I think more Irish fans need to learn about it and how embarrassing it was for us as a fan base. Uh, you have to be. It, embarrassed. I am. I am embarrassed, and yeah. I got. I give my older brother all the props in the world. He called it two weeks before the game even happened. He's like, Sean, I'm telling you, it's going to be the same as Nebraska in 2000. Man, Everybody's going to sell shocked. their tickets. I was shocked. I was actually in visiting friends in North Carolina that weekend. And we had just struggled with UMass that day. And I'd forgot that you guys were even playing. And I had my buddy flip the, flip the channel over. And I was like, damn, I thought this game, I, I swear I said this, I thought this game was in Notre Dame this year, not in Georgia. I said the same thing, dude. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was sickening and embarrassing to watch. I mean, hey, I commend the Georgia fans for being that loyal to their team. I don't, it's, I don't blame them for all that. I blame our own fans that they would actually... Um, sell their ticket and and as I've said numerous times I'm willing to bet these are the same people that have always bitched about we need upgrades we need the st the turf we need Probably. this jumbotron and, that and they don't and they sell their tickets and don't go to the game it happened I complain about it all the time here too Alabama if Alabama ever plays up there you guys might as well just go ahead and plan on that being a home game for Alabama because yeah. the, those guys are I mean, there's no. It's basically basically what it is is all the the uh, the older alumni. They just sell their ticket. They say yeah. screw it. They don't have their passion anymore for the team. But I mean, that, tra that team go... travels like no other. Yeah. And I hate the song bitches. But I mean, and every I... year we play them. Every other year up here, they come. They don't take over our stadium until the end of the game when it's over. Then they take over. But I mean, it's fifty fifty. I gu I guarantee you, Notre Dame travels well. But I guarantee you, we're not we're not taking over Athens. I can nah, guarantee I'm, I'm, that. I would be shocked. I mean, and you say Notre Dame travels well. I, I'm sure they do travel well, but I think a lot of that is Notre Dame has such a nationwide fan base. Yeah, well, that's know. true. But I, but I get what you're saying. You know, there's, there's well, always Notre Dame fans where, the, the, wherever they play. Yeah, the main point of that comment was just to say that we're not going to be. If there's not going to be a ton of green in that stadium or blue yeah. and gold, whatever colors you want to use of ours. But it's not. It's not going to be a, a sea of green. So it just, it's it's just so embarrassing to this day that even though it's been two years that we would actually sell out, and I mean, geez, if you're gonna sell your ticket, you can't at least sell it to another fan of your own team. I agree. I mean, it's just so it it was just so embarrassing. And granted, I could you could say this maybe some people. What happened like myself, to the days when Rudy when I hate to bring up Rudy, but what happened to those days when you couldn't get a ticket to I know. a Notre Dame game? I know. I, I don't know what happened to him. It's just. Well, I, know, uh, I know what happened. TV happened. 
Yeah. And that's well, that's, that is that's a true. huge factor because I'm not gonna lie, I'd much rather sit my fat ass on my couch or in a recliner and watch a sixty watch a TV on a sixty five seventy inch TV than get packed up like a bunch of sardines. My you know, my older my my older brother has a bar built in his basement. So why why would you why would you uh go to the game then I yeah. Mean, yeah when you got everything you need right there the atmospheres are different i mean wow. we can make a whole different video about the atmosphere i don't know what it's like in south bend but it's changed so much at neyland that i don't, i honestly don't enjoy going to tennessee home games anymore i'd rather go to an away game and sitting up in the skybox that's different i love doing that and i've been able to do that the last few years but you can keep sitting in the bleacher seats at Neyland Stadium for all I'm concerned. Yeah. I hate to say that, but I grew up in the late 70s, early 80s, you know, coming up in that era when going to a home football game felt like going to a home football game and it meant something. You know, yeah. It was, it was an event. Well, it's funny, it's funny you mention that with it being an event. You know, going back to 2017 when we played the Bulldogs in South Bend, you would think that would have been an event. You would have think that it would have been treated like, you know, a major thing, a major home game, a major event. Uh, but, like I said, the, everybody's just will, willing to sell their ticket at the drop of a dime because someone offers them a thousand bucks. And I had people tell